The world around us is there for us to explore, whether that be up and out in space or looking at incidents a little closer to home. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at mysterious and interesting discoveries. A star 4,566 light-years away has just erupted. A star from the constellation of Ucus has erupted, and even though the star is about 4,566 light-years away, you could have seen it with the naked eye. The star, RS Afuci, was shining seven magnitudes brighter than usual. Nova, or the eruption of a star, are extremely rare. This nova was even rarer as it was a recurrent nova. This means that this star erupts periodically. Only ten of these stars have ever been found in the Milky Way galaxy. RS Afuci last erupted in 2006, so it was due for another nova, as it usually has one every 15 years. But what causes these eruptions? First, it's important to know that RS Afuci is a white dwarf binary star. Because it is a binary star, it is in close orbit with another star. In this case, the other star is a large red giant. As the two stars spin around each other, hydrogen is drawn off the giant star by the smaller dwarf star. As the hydrogen accumulates on the surface of the white dwarf star, it heats up. As it heats up, the pressure and temperature can become too much, resulting in a thermonuclear explosion called a nova. If there comes a time when the white dwarf planet accumulates so much mass from the red giant, it may become unstable. If this happens, it will explode in a type Ia supernova, which will end the binary relationship between the two stars. But that has not yet happened to Iris Afuci. The small star is still spinning around its red giant. Scientists predict that it will be another 15 to 20 years before the small star can build up enough hydrogen for another nova eruption. This means it will likely occur in the 2030s. One of the most extended gaps between the novas happened between 1985 and 2006, with a 21-year gap. This means that the next nova could happen over 20 years from now, but then again, it could also occur in the next decade. The longest gap was from 1907 to 1933, a 26-year gap. Every star eruption teaches scientists more about our universe. Scientists astonished as monster star mysteriously disappears. On top of realizing that the V471's brown star orbiting companion may never have existed, Scientists are shocked to discover a monster star has disappeared without a trace. More than 70 million light-years away, a star in the Kinman Dwarf Galaxy can no longer be seen by scientists. They are now offering explanations as to what may have happened. First, scientists believe that the star may have decreased in brightness and is now being partially blocked by dust. The second explanation, and undoubtedly the more incredible one, is that the star collapsed into a black hole without ever exploding as a bright supernova. If the second explanation occurred, this would be the first ever detection of that kind of star's end, as star's ending are usually large spectacles that produce a bright supernova explosion. The missing star has never been seen by astronomers due to how far away it is, but they confirmed its existence by examining data that revealed its chemical signature. From 2001 to 2011, scientists were able to find evidence that this blue variable star was roughly 2.5 million times brighter than Earth's sun. However, in 2019, when Andrew Allen and his team of colleagues were hoping to use the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope to investigate the star, its signature had disappeared. As Professor Jose Gro of Trinity College Dublin poignantly stated, we may have detected one of the most massive stars of the local universe going gently into the night. To attempt to explain this mystery, researchers looked back at their previous observations of the star and found that it had been showing outbursts between 2002 and 2009, 
when a tremendous amount of star material was released at a faster rate than expected. The researchers say that outbursts can happen in a star's old age and could explain why the star was so bright when it was being observed in the early years. Although this is a mystery that scientists were certainly not expecting, they are not giving up hope in the search to find an answer. Researchers have said that more studies are needed to understand what occurred as whatever happened could change the current understanding of how massive stars end. Amateur astronomer discovers new moon orbiting Jupiter For the first time ever, an amateur astronomer discovered a new moon in our galaxy. After poring over photos of possible Jovian moons, Kai Li discovered a new moon orbiting Jupiter. This is not the first discovery that Kai Li has made. In 2020, they discovered four lost Jupiter moons. Li used old telescope images from 2003 taken by the Canada-France-Hawaii telescope to find the new Jupiter moon. They were interested in finding another moon on Jupiter, so they analyzed the photos and discovered three possible moons. Then, with photos taken days later, one of the potential moons remained. Lee paid a lot of attention to the photos taken in 2003 because the moons were at their brightest. In 2003, the moons were experiencing a phenomenon called opposition. Opposition occurs when a planet and the sun appear on opposite ends of the Earth's sky, illuminating the planet's system and satellites. In February 2003, this occurred in Jupiter. Lee continued to trace the moon's orbit from images taken from 2003 through to 2018. In total, there were roughly 76 sightings of the moon over a 15-year period. The moon was found in the Calm Cluster, which includes 22 other space rocks that share similar orbit patterns. Calm is the largest rock in this cluster. While Lee first thought the moon might be another satellite rock orbiting near Calm, they learned that it was a moon after they calculated the object's trajectory. It is incredible Lee was able to view the moon since some of the Jupiter moons are so small that they can only be detected once a year by even the largest telescope. Lee hopes to make more discoveries in the future, although they described moon hunting as a summer hobby before I returned to school. More moon discoveries are definitely possible. In 2020, Edward Ashton, Matthew Boudouin and Brett J. Gladman from the University of British Columbia have made preliminary observations that suggest Jupiter could have over 600 satellite moons. Cataclysmic collision with Sausage Galaxy reshaped Milky Way in distant past As far as galaxies go, the Milky Way is a rather oddly shaped one due to its inner bulge and outer ring, which forms a sort of halo around it. Scientists have never been quite sure why it is shaped this way, but a recently formed hypothesis might provide some answers at long last. In the new theory, which was proposed by a group of international researchers, the scientists suggest that the Milky Way was forever changed by a chaotic collision with a much smaller galaxy that may have taken place between 8 and 10 billion years ago. This much smaller, sausage-shaped dwarf galaxy was effectively destroyed by its fateful crash with our own, much larger galaxy, essentially erasing it from the universe. However, the dwarf was not entirely gone, as the fallout from the suspected collision left the remains of some stars scattered in the region. Vasily Belakurov with the University of Cambridge and the Centre for Computational Astrophysics at the Flatiron Institute in New York City explained in a statement that the collision ripped the dwarf to shreds, leaving its stars moving in very radial orbits that are long and narrow like needles. He then said that the paths of these remaining stars are very close to the centre of our galaxy. This is a telltale sign that the dwarf galaxy came in on a really eccentric orbit and its fate was sealed. The journey of these stars can be reconstructed into a telling saga recounting the collision and their subsequent travels through our own Milky Way. When paths were recreated in this manner, the figure of the original dwarf galaxy was able to be seen for the first time. 
and what they found was a distinctive sausage shape, earning the long-dismantled galaxy the nickname Gaia Sausage. Although the collisions of galaxies are not at all unusual and are in fact happening all around us at this very moment, tracking the past encounters of our own Milky Way can help us to get a clearer picture of how it came to look and act the way it does today. There is no way to travel through time to observe what happened as the universe was formed. Finding remnants from long past activities such as this can be crucial in helping us to reconstruct what our world may have looked like long before life was ever sparked. The discovery of this strange sausage galaxy is important because it helps researchers gain a clearer understanding of why our Milky Way is shaped so strangely. NASA Orbiter Spots Chinese Rover and Tracks on Mars Sometimes we get a chance to look at our creations from afar and look at what a great invention we have made. One opportunity for this arose recently, as on March 11, 2022, one of NASA's spacecrafts caught a glimpse of China's Zhurong rover on Mars. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter is fitted with HiRISE, the high-resolution Imagine Science experiment camera, which captured the image of the Zhurong rover. The image even managed to show around 1.5 kilometers of tracks that the rover had made since landing in May 2021, showing the southward direction of its journey. Zhurong is one aspect of China's Tianwen-1 mission, looking to explore Mars. This includes an Orbiter 2 and seeks to survey the surface features of the Red Planet. Initially, the rover was meant to stay for just 90 days, but this time has been exceeded as it continues to explore the geology present on Mars. The image is incredibly clear, given the 288 kilometers away MRO is from Zhurong which is just 3 meters in size. TRAPPIST-1 planets could hold more water than Earth's oceans The star called TRAPPIST-1 is a close star, approximately 40 light-years away from our own solar system, and is one that is highly interesting to scientists due to the seven planets similar to Earth that revolve around it. After careful study of the gravitational pull that these planets exert upon each other, Researchers were able to present several theories about the composition of these planets, and some of them are downright mind-boggling. Some of the planets revolving TRAPPIST-1 could have up to 250 times the total amount of water contained in all of Earth's oceans. These calculations were made as a part of the constant search for signs of extraterrestrial life, or even indications that exoplanets could potentially support life and TRAPPIST-1 is one of the best-known and most highly studied candidates outside of our own solar system. Elements of each planet in the system has been carefully studied, as the distance and their tight orbit makes direct observation incredibly difficult. Additionally, because they all orbit exceptionally close to each other, they frequently push and pull against the gravitational forces exerted as they pass neighboring planets in the system. Simon Grimm, Leader of an international team of scientists with the Center for Space and Habitability was one of the individuals who studied this phenomenon. He said in a statement, In the TRAPPIST-1 system, the planets are so close together that they perturb each other. This causes a slight shift in the times of each transit. The team was then able to conduct simulations of these altered orbits and apply an algorithm in order to estimate the masses of each planet, which then allowed them to calculate individual densities and compositions. This is when they realized that the five lightest planets in the system could each have 250 times more water than the total amount in all of Earth's oceans. This means that water makes up about 5% of their total composition compared to the measly 0.02% of Earth. This information is groundbreaking to scientists hoping to study the potential for life outside of our own Earth, especially as three of the planets lie within TRAPPIST-1's so-called habitable zone. Bryce Olivier Demery, a professor at the Center for Space and Habitability and co-author of the recent study detailing these results, said, We were able to measure precisely the density of exoplanets that are similar to Earth in terms of their size, mass, and irradiation, with an uncertainty of less than 10%, which is a first and decisive step in the characterization of potential habitability. But what do you make of these new discoveries? 
Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.